the place that I like to show you today is located right at downtown Toronto. So I may as well take this opportunity to film something about downtown Toronto for all my viewers that is from other countries or outside the city of Toronto to see it. Yes, this place is right located at another main downtown core area of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Right at Yang Street and Queen Street. Right in at downtown location. Very convenient to go to. You can come here by a bus, uh, by a subway, or if you drive by your car. See, right here, beside the Nutcracker, there's a subway station. You just walk out here and cross the street in the traffic light, and then turn left and keep walking, walking, and then you will find this place that I want to show you. Or if you prefer, you can come out from the one of the exit of a uh, Eaton Center, close to the uh, Queen Street exit. Eaton Center is one of the biggest shopping center in Canada. It's a huge. If you love shopping, you can easily spend half of the afternoon here to do your shopping or window shopping. One of the very popular uh, place for uh, tourists. See, less than one minute we arrive at our destination. See how beautiful and gorgeous this old building is. This is the place that I want to show you today. A very haunted place. The old city hall of Toronto. What a gorgeous building. Look at the detail. The old city hall is a very popular spot for tourists because the architecture was so beautiful. But beside that, it is one of the most famous, very haunted places in downtown Toronto. Well, let me film this uh, description about the old city hall of Toronto so you can see some basic information about this place. The old city hall is a huge, huge building. And there have been many cases of hunting. While the most common one is many security guys that work in this building, they reported they've been hearing footsteps, noises at the end of the stairway. Not only one security guys, but many also reported. 
Of course, it's very common to have a weird sounds or noise in an old building like this. But they say that this is not the sound from the water pipe or from the building. It is a sound from the ghost spirit. According to many, many people, the cellar is one of the most haunted area in this old city hall. The cellar is used to be the holding place for prisoners in the old time. Many incidents have been reported that they hear noise, loud noise, talking, discussion, argument inside the cellar at night time. But when they go inside, it's dead silent. Nobody was there at all. This old city hall is a huge, huge building. You will easily get lost inside. Please look closely of all the gorgeous structure and decoration. The whole building, you can say, is a piece of artwork. Huge building. Please pay attention of all those gorgeous hand carving around the buildings. It's just amazing, beautiful. The old city hall are very huge. This is one of the entrance from the other side of the building. The white building on the right hand side in front of us is the Eaton Center. So if you ever visit in Toronto after your shopping, please come over to the old city hall. Have a look. It's worth the trip. Take some photo or video for your memory. Many people believe that this old city hall is filled with spirit and many areas are haunted. If you ever have a chance to come in here at night time, they say many times you will see shuttles walking along the hallway 
by the wall, stairway, with weird noises. See now, it's almost winter. It's very cold outside and windy today. Even the pigeon was grouped together to keep themselves warm and sitting on top of the, maybe the airway. Usually it's very hot there. Winter is coming soon. This is the bad of the old city hall. Looks kind of spooky. But keep in mind, it's not the look that looks spooky and scary and it is what inside here in this building really scare a lot of people because there are many spirit still lingering inside this old city hall in different areas One of the entrance door to the old city hall. Very spooky feeling. the back of the old city hall. And this is one of the main entrance gate, but of course it's closed for public because this is also used as a court area. As you can see, they always have many police car here and policemen inside. Yes, this building is still functioning as a courthouse and many other functions for the city of Toronto. Beautiful buildings, lots of history. the front of the old city hall.
Oh yes, yeah, gorgeous. It's like a yeah, piece of art. The, uh, the stone supports yes. the weight of the building. Yes. Which is the way we built for thousands of years. Yeah, I can tell. This is why they're still working nowadays. Yeah. But all of a sudden, you had that new uh, building style out of Chicago that allowed the high rises. So that's the, one of the last buildings ever built in the old-fashioned way. Yes, it's a treasure, old treasure. Yeah. It's just beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, it is. And if you uh, get inside the front doors, the uh, the lobby, it's got some very spectacular art in there too. Oh, really? Oh, wow! Thank you, sir. Oh, I'm so happy I met this nice gentleman. He shared the same feeling of me. He loved this building. He appreciated the art and the workmanship of this building. This is why I hope you will enjoy this video that I filmed for you. Maybe you don't enjoy the talking of old ghosts, but I'm sure definitely you will enjoy this gorgeous building. It's treasure. This old city hall it's a popular place, not only for tourists, but for many, many different kind of demonstration right in front of this uh, main square area. If you live in Toronto during the summertime, you will see a lot of uh, variety of demonstration was held here. Well, can you hear the bell ring? Oh, so beautiful. Feel like back into the ancient time. This nice security guy just come out and he told me please take more and more about this old building all this carving is really incredible beautiful this is why I'm going to take more for you to enjoy Really beautiful, gorgeous building. No wonder so many of the dead spirit still living inside did not want to move on. 
or they were trapped inside this building. Well, it's totally okay if you don't believe any of these rumors about spirit and hunting inside this whole city hall because there's no actual footage of ghosts or any actual recording of the ghost noise to prove it. But many people claim that they see it, they hear it. Well, just because we didn't see it and we didn't hear it doesn't mean that they are not there. Thank you for watching The Hunter Tour, talking about ghosts with Peter. I hope you enjoyed this video. If possible, please share it to your friend. Give like, leave some comments, or the best, subscribe my channel. Well, I hope to see you again in my next episode. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.